well built young man. I dare to say like a man amongst boys. Yeah. 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 Good job on Van on getting the rebound. Back then, put a man on his back. Fundamentals are starting to sink in. Yep, fundamental. Mr. Bennett. If Bennett's in it, he's in it to win it. John's feeling pretty good about it, I think. He got a win last night. I can't remember what the score was. One pretty big. He should feel real good. It's 20 points plus. He should feel real good about what he, his team did last night. Good steal. Hunting's on the run. At least I see more than one white jersey going down the floor on a fast yeah. break. That's a plus. It upsets me more than anything to see. Kid going down, flying on the floor by himself on a fast break, and the whole team's running behind the ball and not making an effort to get in front of the ball. Cardinal said being behind the ball. What, yeah, what can you do behind the ball? As long as you're behind the ball, you're always wrong. Same spot. What we got here? One thing about our reserves, Gary, they're not shy. They all want to get the basketball. Yep. Trainer number 10 just got stripped and fouled. By uh, their number 10, Corey Kahn. Did he ever go to school here, Carl? Kahn, you don't know? Can't get inside that free space there. And he don't know what he did. See, that's I, don't, where, I don't think he does either. I don't Gary. think he knows what he did. That's where they somebody should explain to him what he did wrong. He might not, he might know and not realize what he's doing. Mr. E is gonna step up here and hit this tee. And that's a shame if they don't tell him what he did, but he was trying to play aggressive ball. That's one of the rules I was reading on that they, they're really looking at that. Especially when you don't have that much room on the sideline, there's no room for the, the one throwing the ball in bounds to uh, step back. So he has no space. Is that a spot over there? They do away with the spot violation, the spot to out of bounds, Gary. Only spot they did away with was on the end line. Okay. And that's when um, there's a foul and no shot. It's kind of tricky, but there's a, a end line they don't. You, you can't uh, punish the defense, offense, the team. If they go and score and then they do it, make a foul real quick. Right. Now all of a sudden you're spotted up and throw it in. They're being punished. You're awarding them for doing something wrong. So you still have on the end line you have a free run, just like from after a made basket. Yes, sir. Mm. They be coming out of the walls tonight. This is the cross county rival. Yeah. So I look for this. Fill it up. He filled up for nights of Made a quick mover. Number 42, Josh Garrett. He's going to 
on the line, you'll be shooting two. I'm going to expand the lead a little bit. It's up to six points now. Here, got that first real quick step. Yeah, he got some wheels. Made something happen. Uh oh, there's your boy in the game. All right, Mr. Sanders, offense is in now. That's prime time there. <laughs> there he is. Bobby comes right in and gets a rebound. There he is. He wants Missed the ball him. too. Missed him. He's wide open. He'll shoot. Have guns. We'll shoot. <laughs> nice Look at him. Draw. Draw. Nice Through the defense. Kind of what is that? Nice what is that? That, that, that little short as he is. And he took yes. draw them big boys in. Somebody yeah. not thinking on their team. I'm Look at this move. Nice pass. Nice. That's the way to play basketball. No look pass too. Underman has some skill. He does. He's got some offensive skill. Now, he's pulling for the move right just yeah. a minute ago. He got in there and he looked up and the trees are all around him. Hey, I ain't got the ball. Uh -oh. Turn around, they're scoring on you. Uh oh. Smitty. Salvo. <laughs> Smitty been living for 30 years, ain't he? Yeah, he's got some bad knees. He's, uh, Shot put catcher, and he got that catching shot put. So now all he does is measure. No, he doesn't. He sits back and tells everybody, "You're next." <laughs> That's good. <laughs> he's all right. He's he likes boy. sports. He likes athletics. Yeah, he stayed with me. He, he helps uh, coach golf. Oh, does he? Mm -hmm. He works with uh, Cunningham. Cunningham's assistant the golf team. London jumped that knee up to nine that quick. About 10 seconds they got a score of four, it's about six points. Lead now. 
this is uh, I think the varsity coach Rodan is seeing out of these boys what he wants out of his boys. I think so too. I think we'll see a different London varsity tonight. We will see. Uh oh, young E at the, at the line. And he didn't jump either. Feeling good. Boy strong. Nice stroke. Good release. Follow through. The perfect smile. Oh. In and out. It was soft though. The rims were not nice to it that time. Ease with the rebound. Got him a block out. Boom. Look what I got. He's just doing the things that's going to get him playing time. That's right. Fundamentals. He certainly has a good grasp of the game. Uh oh. Got a five second count there on uh, number 10. Craner. 33 and 20. We have, it's the score right now. That last one in brings him within uh, 11 now. 33 22. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, come on, Bobby. Go we'll get it. Well, these boys aren't bashful, <laughs> they are really good. They will put it up. What'd you say? I didn't even see it. I was looking over at uh, Coach Rone. We got third quarter just about over. He, I mean, he must wait till the last minute to dress. Basketball. 33-22. Hot number, man. Double deuce, double trade. Make his own <laughs> mark. His sister's already done. Not all she's gonna be able to do. She going she's gonna have to be struggling this year and not, doesn't have a whole lot of help like she's used to. Yeah, the girls team graduated a lot of upperclassmen, didn't they? The whole first first six. The rest of them didn't really get that much training or teaching. So man, Klein got to start all over from day one. You can only learn so much watching. Right. 35-22. And the bubble sound is no good. So we got a 
third quarter score. Freshman game, 35-22 in favor of London. These boys last night noticed they pulled it away late in the third and fourth quarter. Yeah. They started inching away. They're not scoring as much as they did last night. What did they have last night, Gary? 53? They got to get 18 this quarter to get to 53. They're capable of doing it, but it's because they they're not bashful. They won't put it up. <laughs> Went out here tonight and I forgot about it. Had a refreshment game. Coach Tommy Wilson, coach of the freshman, he pulled out a barn burner in the last few, last minute or so. Did Tom have an overtime? Went into overtime. And uh, eventually he pulled out a winner with Doug Jackson making the winning two points. The only two points he got for the night, it was the winning two. Which shows the show, if you be patient, good things happen to you. That's right. He got him with the knee. Need him on the way up. Yeah, Josh blocked the ball. He yeah. had to kick him on the way up. <laughs> He'd had a good block. He was working on it. Josh Garrett bringing it back to 10-11 again. And it's working. say a team that presses doesn't like to be pressed. Right. And Plains has got to press on us to seem to be bothering us right now. That is so true too. Seems like he likes to get after it in there. Put a little pressure on Nick, he can come out of there. <laughs> they don't even know what over the back is. Yeah. They're coming over the back. Master Plains coach, he wore out a set of shoes walking oh, up no, there. Right he's, he's too cool. They saw him step one foot over and step back. They went over and I can remember when that was over and back. Yeah. But now it's three points. Both feet and the ball have to be open. Oh, oh. Sit there and size that one up, didn't it? Van Lord 
just a half step too short. That's right, Josh is a half step behind the play there. Got to speed up the thought process a little bit. He's going to be a good black ball player. You're going to learn that by playing, though. You got that right. I like, right I like the aggressiveness getting out of his kids. Uh, Plains has cut it to nine now. They're letting London know they're in the game. Uh oh, here. Whoa. Nice play. That's a good call. Yeah, he's right on top of it. Where's the third official? These games are supposed to have two. I thought there's a new rule out now that all games are supposed to have three officials. I've seen two here tonight. I just never noticed there's only two out there. It might be a situation where both teams agree to that it's okay. I was under the impression that three officials, Yeah. you had to have three officials. Well, maybe somebody couldn't make it. Thirty-seven to thirty. We got four minutes to go in the final quarter of the reserve game. London's leading right now. What's this coming in here? I don't know. Carl, pick it up. WWF in the house. He's dressed for it. I don't know what it is, but that looks like mankind. Uh, he's cool. Go ahead, guy. You got. He got our attention, didn't he? <laughs> Thirty-seven to thirty. <laughs> My next move. Like uh, the coach's son. Yeah, he does. Always oh, with no Josh. foul there. Yeah. They beat old Josh up. Yeah. That time. And he don't, but as soon as Josh makes a move, they don't call yeah, one on you. Getting kind of physical out there. They owe you one, Josh. Trainer. Nice pass. Finish it off. It's Alvo. Out of board. Big strong kid, isn't he? Uh, yes, he is. He looks like he's on any five foot ten too. Josh Garrett, that's some of the reasons probably their football team has got a little better than it has been in the past. Yeah, Josh looks like a football player. Yeah, he does. He runs it back up to an eight point lead with 38 to 30. Gets to both his free throws, we're back up to a nine point lead. We're down under three and a half minutes. The heat is on. How did travel there? That's good. Good, good decision. Good, good, good decision by Kreiner. Craner, excuse me, Carl. Craner. <laughs> I'm sorry, number 10. They're used to it. They take it either way. That's what they told me. Oh, is that a smart move, Aaron? Yeah, a little Daryl. He was thinking, out. wasn't he? Yeah. The first instinct is to stop the ball from going up across the line. Trainer, he hook shot on us now. We're getting 
all the calls tonight. Getting a refresher on the rules. Corey picks up his second foul. Uh, he was wanting Cranor, Cranor's using his elbow to yeah. ward him off. Ron says, wait a minute, he was elbowing me first. We got a timeout with uh, 2.23 left to go. 39 to 30. Bill, what have you seen so far? Anything you like? Yeah, the kids are really aggressive. Cranor. Bobby Sanders hadn't got the ball enough tonight, though. Yeah, Bobby come in, made a quick rebound. The defensive effort's been there. Their offense is not as good as it was last night. I don't know if they're tired. Back to back, probably hard on kids in the tenth grade. Shouldn't be. No, it shouldn't. Tenth grade. I'm sure uh, Roney, Coach Roney, ain't gonna hear that. <laughs> probably doesn't want to. He told me last night that most kids. Can't make it through one of his practice, much less a game. <laughs> so if you went through one of his practice, you done did something. I love it. It's the way it has to be if you want to be successful. I'm glad that it's been grasped the way it has. I haven't heard any complaints, have you? Well, you got some of that, those kind of credentials. You don't complain until the ship starts sinking. And right now we're we're floating. Yeah. It looks, looks, what I'm seeing, I'm liking. I think it's only going to get better from here. They got to buy into the program. I was telling Ronnie Wilson about, about this coach, how he does. Ronnie said, that's the same way you was doing it. He said, I was so glad when you uh, couldn't work, had to work nights and couldn't coach us that last year. <laughs> so you was running us to death. And I was. But they was Ronnie, ready. How's Ronnie doing? Ronnie's doing great. Come out of West Point, you just about figure he's going to do something. And his wife's a college grad, too. Michael <laughs> well, Thorne's moves didn't work, did it? <laughs> he tried to switch hands two or three times in the air, it looked like. 204. 430, London. He was trying hard. That's rough when you plan to move out and you drive the bucket. You get in the air and then it don't work. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Van Horn, the reckless one. He done pulled out the far ladder. <laughs> he going up. He going up. He's Are you sure that's his father? Uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming it is. If it's not, I apologize to somebody. First free throw. A nice touch, doesn't he, Gary? Yeah, nice solid, solid good follow through. I noticed his elbow was in. Got good spacing of the feet, not like the way you spot out last night. My wife seen, <laughs> seen you make that call. She said, Bill knows what he's talking about, don't he? Said, no, he just got Sometimes. lucky. <laughs> Sometimes. She was cracking up. <laughs> He plays good defense, doesn't he, Gary? Yeah, he's playing smart. Only problem with him, he's right at elbow level. Yeah. Man, you can get yeah, they're right in the up real easy. Nice pass, play smart. son. Nice pass. He panicked. Nice pass by Craner. We couldn't finish it. That's the way to play basketball. Very unselfish young man, isn't he, Gary? He does a good job. He sees the whole floor. He's looking for the open man, but he won't pull up to. He's going to get his share of shots. Uh-oh. 
I think they should have had Garrett shoot a little more. He looked like he got a little game. He's been doing all right since he's been here. The last couple minutes. I think he uh, couldn't decide whether to use the board. Yeah. The way he looked at that shot. I didn't agree with that call. What, do you think Josh was there? I thought he was there, and I thought that uh, 42, Garrett threw a knee into him when he went around. He didn't even whoop to like he's going to make a shot. That's where you, that's where you gain ground. Score when the clock's off. That's right. They're up uh, 41 to 35 now. Only a six-point game. They've been as high as 9 and 11. They got another turnover. This goes in his truck. One basket game. So you got to take care of us, son. The ball goes to them, I think. We saw the arrow going that way. The press is bothering us, Gary. John Wilson wants to time out. Is he going to get it? Yeah. Young fellow dribbling with his head down, Gary. Got himself in trouble. John's on his case, yes, too. Could you hear what he was saying? And sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sports John had to defend his turf. Now, the other coach been hollering all night, so John had to get in his ear. And you don't want no technical this time of the game. Right. Not with 30 seconds and a three point lead. Yeah. So now we got to tighten up here. Like if you do down do in Texas, do the tighten up. Mm -hmm. Come Archie on, John, we're going to tighten up on Archie the drums. Archie in the drill. Yeah. Come on, Arch. Them guys couldn't sing a lick. They made a hit that just sold the country. Now you're telling our age, Gary. I'm just telling my age. I, I'm not ashamed of my age. I'm old. <laughs> Ain't nothing I can do about it, so I'm not going to do it. That's a fact. Definitely better than the alternative. It's their ball. Why is he down here? Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that a boy. Come on, Catalbo. Well, I don't get too far down. They turn somebody loose. There we go. He's going to jump off. All right. Good call. Yeah. He got hurt, too. Oh, that's too bad. 42, Josh that's Garrett. Josh Garrett. Like he twist his knee, Gary. It's hurting back because he was banging on the floor. Trainer's right on top of it. She knows what she's doing, too. She's good. She uh, worked with Mo, I guess, for a while. Or her and Mo's good friends. He just took a job at a new school. I want to say Groport. Groport get a new school? Yeah, I don't know. They need one. Jill Traver. As we get some shots of the audience there. He's up, but he's walking slow. So Lennon got the arrow position on the jump ball. The officials won't wait till the uh, Eagles get their defense set up and they need to give him the ball. 
Okay, you can give him the ball now, buddy. <laughs> Let's see what kind of inbound play we got here. Quick foul there, number 10. We got two cons out there. Are they brothers? I don't know. Corey and Brian Con. wants to time out. Mm -hmm. As we pick up the uh, varsity players in the waiting to come out and take take their turn on the floor. We have a 41 to 38 game here. 25 seconds to go and London's going to the foul line. Shooting two. They're in the bonus. Yeah. It's dark on that area too. You can't get too good of a picture. Josh Garrett back. I think he just had a bruise, Gary. He's probably one of them kind of kids that ain't gonna, he's not going to be out too long if he can help. We're down in the crunch time. So he definitely wants to be in there. Funny how you, some of the stuff you can catch the kids doing when they don't know the camera's on. <laughs> kids will be kids. Talbot's a big boy, Gary. Man, yeah, he's a big kid. Quite a few of them out there are. Football player? Does he play football? You know, I don't know. I don't remember the name. If he did, he'd probably been on reserves. Three of these guys are pretty much the same size. You got the smallest man on the line. I hope he gets a rebound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They both lose if he comes out three by. He's the only one up there. Mm -hmm. gonna to, it's going to take three points yeah. to tie it up. Now, where are you going anyway? That man should have been pinned soon he got across yeah, that sure. corner. Nice pass, Josh. Trouble. Uh oh. Give him that one. Yep, let him have it. Oh, Josh. Well, they got a timeout quick. Josh made an amazing recovery, got right back in and stuck one in for him. You got a score of 42 to 40 now. Going for a full timeout. Forty-two forty. Four point nine tenths a second to go. We're gonna do an inbound here, Gary. We put it in the front court. Get the ball and hold it. Or the or the or the back court. It's only four four uh, four seconds. You got five seconds if you get a hold of the ball. So I was just throw the ball in the hole. Make him fire. They're gonna foul me. Either right? gonna fire you or the time runs out. And that'd be my my thought. The main thing is get it in balance. Get your best ball handler uh, to get it in. Somebody needs to come off of a pick. you agree with that? Yeah. Because we, we agree to disagree. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. I want to see who's taking it out. Yep. Got the best ball. Who's our best free throw shooter in there? Uh, Hungerman? Better get it to Hungerman. There we go. Attaboy. They did the right thing. Of course, it's a uh, two-shot foul anyway. So Just like you said, off the pick, Hungerman came, got the ball. Good call, Gary. So what you got to do. <laughs> Yep. 3.6 seconds left. It's going to take a miracle to get it. Get in, ball. Now there's, 
there getting your outnet together. Make this one and get out of the way. Put some pressure on this rebound. Good move. Everybody just trying to fall to bounce out and come off. He shot right back to himself. Nobody blocked him out. He just ran and got his own rebound. Right there is another thing. Fundamental. Yes, sir. Now, the first thing you do is block out the shooter. Right. Which they didn't do. So London comes out victorious in the reserve contest. 44 40. Gary McNeil along with. Uh, Joe Markley and Carl King saying, I see it, but I wouldn't want to be it. <laughs> Adios.